Hello everybody, Shelly here. I'm back and I'm doing, I'm a little low. Is that a little bit better? Third and final look with an Natasha Denona Trio Cream Palette. And I'm gonna do kind of like a daytime look, I think. I think I wanna use that last row. We'll start with some Marc Jacobs primer because my face is feeling a little dry. And this is such a good primer. I, I love that primer, I think it's super I don't know, it just feels moisturizing. It reminds me a lot of the ColourPop Hyaluronic Acid, pretty fresh. You know what I'm talking about? I've got like Dayquil brain. Okay, I'm gonna use the Marc Jacobs, is it the Remarkable? I think it's the Remarkable Foundation. I've been using this a lot lately. I just really like the way it feels on my skin. And I think, honestly, it's a pretty good tone. It might be a little light for me, but we're gonna just pretend that it's the right shade. It feels like it's the right shade. I'm really, really feeling purple. So I'm excited to actually start with some, some more purple colors, but I want to wait until like mid to late January. Oh my gosh, this foundation on my lips. That was a little tough to look at. Okay. Because my under eyes are feeling a little crepey right now, I'm going to go in with the Becca Anti-Fatigue Under Eye. Looks like a primer or a balm. Balm. It has a little bit of caffeine in it. it. feels a little tingly and minty. I did use my new face device today. This is the first time I've used it in a really long time, frankly. Uh, sometimes it just takes a bit of time to sit down and play with it and, and use it. And sometimes I just can't be bothered with all that, especially lately. Okay, I'm going to go in with the Natasha Nona Blush Duo Antique Nude and then Renee's Pastel Pink. That's the Pastel Pink. That's the Antique Nude. And I like this as, I don't know, I kind of just like layer the two together. I've been doing a little bit more bron um, a little bit more contouring with blush as opposed to bronzer or contour. And this is like a throwback thing for me. I hardly ever did any kind of like contouring or anything before. Now I find myself kind of going back to some of the old techniques that frankly still work. And I don't know if they just take less, less time, less energy. Sometimes you just can't be bothered. But I think as, when I'm contouring with blush, as long as I try to keep the line sort of above where that hollow is, then I feel like I get, like if I keep it just right above right there, then I feel like I get that downhill shadow. I'm playing with color, you're playing with light, you know. So it's not like I'm hollowing out that center, but I am doing kind of like where I want the top of the cheekbone to kind of feel like it's shading down. And frankly, I do that with eyeshadow too. You know, when you're trying to cover up some of that hood, I'm going with a lighter pink as kind of a blush. And I just sort of overlap right at the top of that cheekbone. Just kind of softens it up a little bit. So I was editing a film last night, which will go up before this one does. Really, really enjoying all of the blondish kind of I don't know what color, car caramel colored highlights that I had on this summer. And now I'm like, maybe I need to go back and do some more highlights because I thought it was really pretty. And I don't know if I would do the same, like go that bold, because that was kind of a mistake anyway. I've got a NYX nude liner that I'm going to use. I can't talk while I'm putting on lip liner. If you can, you're way more talented than I am. So anyway, I don't know if I want to do like a different highlight. Like maybe if I want to do like, I don't know, some... Maybe not quite so blonde, but more caramel colored. I don't know. You guys have seen this before. This is the Too Faced Melted Matte in Cool Girl. My daughter's been wearing this shade for a very long time. I kind of just picked it up because, well, frankly, I was buying her one. She's not going to see this video. She doesn't watch my videos, but I bought her one for Christmas because I know she liked it. And then I just decided I needed to... <laughs> I went for myself. Okay, so I gotta do something with this eyeshadow here. I'm gonna use this row, but if you look at it with the mirror on the top, it is the last row. I did two looks already with this palette, more date night looks, and I decided I really don't wanna do a date night look with this, although I can see how you could transition to one. I like every color in this row, except for that kind of orangey marigold one, but I think it does go well with that trio chrome, like it doesn't bother me too much. I just really wanna use these more neutral shades right now. And I don't have any eyelid primer on today. I think she's a big fan of using eyelid primers. I have basically whatever was on my makeup sponge that I got a little crazy with, and I have not done anything with eyebrows yet. 
sorry. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. All right, so I'm using that first shade called uh, Vertex, and it doesn't really feel like it's giving me any color at all. It's just kind of setting down whatever I have on my eyelids already. Kind of just mattifies it, I guess. That's probably what I'd say. Yeah, I probably ought to do something with these eyebrows, huh? You know what? I'm not actually going to put any color on them. I just needed to brush them up. So that was Vertex, and boy, it has a lot of kick up. I'm just going to leave that alone. I'm going to go in with, I think it says diatronic. It's kind of the like apricot-y, peachy kind of color pastel. It feels like it's like a spring color. I'm going to scoot in a little bit here and see if we can't get a little brightness on my... I don't want to be too dark. As far as Christmas gifts go, what are you guys doing this year? I'm not going out to stores. I did one day and I'm just not, I'm not buying anything in stores anymore. I think I've got the majority of what I wanted to get for my kids. My mom said yesterday that they're not even really doing Christmas this year. My husband and I decided we weren't really going to do much because we'd rather just do a trip. I'm going back to school, so that's going to cost some money. So we're just kind of laying low. I mean, I got a, a couple little things, um, stocking stuffer type stuff, but not really anything crazy. Okay, I'm going in with this darker shade right here. That is going to go up against my lash line to begin with, and then I'm going to bring it into my crease a little bit. And we'll see how, if I need to build it up at all. But we're just doing daytime makeup, right? And I'm sorry if I do sound a little nasally still. All right, I'm just going to build that up a little bit more. You know what? For daytime makeup, I, I was wrong on this palette, you guys. I originally said this is not an everyday palette. I originally said this is not a palette I'm going to reach for. I'm not going to do daytime makeup with it. I mean, you could do like fun daytime makeup, but like work makeup, you're probably not going to use this. I am wrong. I, I would wear something similar to this for work if I were going to work, which I'm not. I mean, I'm working, but I'm working from home. I feel like I got a little weird patchy thing right there. I'm going to go back into that diatonic. I don't know why I have, maybe, maybe I just have some like weird flaw thing going on from when I did that new face. Do you guys want to see a video on that? Like how I use it? I haven't used it in a while, but I said, like I said earlier, I was looking at an old video that I was editing and I'm like, wow, my face looks great. And I think it was because I was using that new face thing. I had to go back and start using it again. Well, I used it today, but I think it takes a few episodes before you really start to notice the effects. That and I'm excited to start working out again. I had to take the week off. I think I'm going to take that same color Garmin, which is the kind of almost like a rosewood color. Pretty matte. And I'm just running it down here. That looks better. So I can hear my son outside right now. He's blowing leaves. Funny story. Well, I got your attention. So my son just recently sold his car. It was a good first car for him, but he realized that it only has front wheel drive. And where we live, you need all wheel drive. It's so weird. In the pan, when I look straight onto it, it I, I mean, it, oh, it is really a multi-chrome. It goes between purple and kind of a goldish greenish color. I'm going to use a dry brush with that because it is daytime. I'm not going too crazy with it. Oh, what a pretty color though. Wow. This is way better than I thought it would be. This palette, man. I really like this palette. I've been having a lot of fun with this palette. I think it's got some mixed reviews too. Anyway, so my son recently sold his car and when he was, we have a like a ballpark across the street, kind of kitty corner across the street, and he meets people there when they want to see his car because he doesn't want him to like come to the house, right? So he doesn't tell people where we live. Well, these people said, oh, hey, you know, if we buy this, do you want to, do you want me to ride home? And he's like, oh no, I'm just down the street, you know, over by the school. Well. He's really kitty corner across the street. Well, so they say, oh, look at that house across the street with all those leaves on the roof. How are they going to get them off? And he's like, I don't know. You know, they have a pretty big tree in their front yard. Yeah, that would be my house with all the leaves on the roof still. I like this. It just looks weird right now because I don't have any mascara. Do I need eyeliner? Hmm. I'm going to put mascara on first and then we'll decide if I need eyeliner. And I need gloss because I feel like I've lost my upper lip and everything looks very 
monochromatic and neutral and I'm gonna put some mascara on. I'll be right back. You know, it's crazy how mascara always pulls into a look, huh? What do you guys think? I think this is actually a completely appropriate daytime look. And when I first looked at this Trio Chrome palette, put it back up again, Natasha did out a Trio Chrome palette, I was like, okay, there is a boatload of crazy colors. You've got all this like acid green and this psychedelic purple haze stuff. And then you have like this other relatively normal, but you lose it. You forget about it in the midst of all of those beautiful crazy colors. I didn't use plutonium. I think in general people probably don't use plutonium, right? Radioactive or something. I'm going to take a little bit of it. That's this marigold color down here called plutonium. I'm going to probably gank up the whole thing and make it all crazy, but I don't know. Does that look jaundiced? A little bit of that down here. I wasn't sure initially if I was going to use any kind of eyeliner. I did. I used a Morphe one, this one right here called All Night. I've used this recently. I just thought it tied in kind of well with the, the rest of the purple colors. I'm going to go back into Vertex, which is a matte, soft kind of bone shade, but I'm just going to use this right here to sort of brighten up that inner corner without going too sparkly. It just makes it super approachable and daytime friendly. That is it for for daytime makeup using the Natasha Denona Trio Chrome Palette. I did put a little of the Natasha Denona lip gloss on. I think this is in the shade Powder. I don't think I used anything else. Setting spray on. I didn't put any powder on. Frankly, my, <laughs> my skin is feeling a little dry right now and I think it's the, I think it's the day quill. All right, you guys. Natasha Denona Trio Chrome Palette, playing with makeup. I like this look. I will absolutely use this. I don't know why it took me so long to get into that final row. I'm glad I did. Probably more than I need to for just like a stay at home day. So maybe she just put on makeup just to put on makeup, just to feel good, just to feel better, just to make yourself feel normal. And I'm really dark right here. I had to figure out, I brought out one of my box lights, but I'm wondering if it isn't affecting the autofocus. You guys, I'm sorry. A year of this and I'm still trying to figure out how to be a YouTuber. A year. It's been over a year. Isn't that crazy? I need to do like a life update video. Maybe I'll film that later on. We'll just go from there. So I hope you guys are doing really well. If you are new here, hi, my name is Shelly. I'm not a professional makeup artist. I don't even really know what I'm doing, but I've been playing with makeup for a really long time. So this is one of those channels where we can kind of just forget about the day-to-day -day craziness, everything, and just sit and talk to a girlfriend just sit and hang out. Leave me a comment down below. Follow me over on Instagram at Shelly Tsunami. I don't get anything in PR. I probably never will because I'm brutally honest about products that I use. My successes, my failures, and I hope that some of the things that I go through will help you guys make decisions on what is actually going to work for you. A lady of a certain age, not a 20-something YouTuber with a bunch of filters on. The pictures that I post on, on Instagram, the what I use here, it's just raw out of the camera. I don't filter, enhance, anything like that. Anyway, I hope you guys are doing really well and enough of me babbling until my next video. Bye for now.